Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. We got a really cool transition video today. And this video has been inspired from a variety of video hive templates. Basically, we're focusing in on this pre-transition here. And if you look at several different templates on Video Hive, you'll see that this transition is quite relevant across, I guess, the motion graphics community right now, where you're splitting the screen apart and you can see that the screen is being divided. And that's what I want to focus on in this video to show you how you can create this really cool transition that is very easy to use. But more specifically, just focus on the split screen here. That's really what we're focusing on in this video. So in this tutorial, you'll be able to cover other types of transitions as well with the techniques that we'll be using here. You can see in the background that's a little bit distorted, a little bit offset, and this will be showing in this video. And I want to say thank you to VideoHive.net for sponsoring this video. If you're looking for high quality pre-made After Effects templates that are ready to go, they have thousands of After Effects templates and packs that will help you save time and money. Go ahead and check out my top five favorite transition packs. Those links are in the description of this video. So here we are. We have two images in this timeline and... Always first things first, anytime you have your video and images set in place, go ahead and pre-compose them so you can swap them out later just in case. So go select one of the layers, go to layer, pre-compose, check on move all attributes into new composition and we can call it uh, image one. And we'll go ahead and pre-compose the other one and call it image two. So to do this transition effectively, we need to create a distortion map. So what we'll do is create a new composition and we can call it distort. map okay so what we want to do is we want to come over here grab the rectangle tool or any tool that you want you can create any type of shape and we'll see what we're doing in a second so make sure you click the word fill and set that to solid color click the word stroke and set that to none and what we'll do is come here and we'll drag a box just like this across our composition and we'll also do one more do it just like that and we'll come down here and just do one more like this Okay, so it's important that you make sure that this is in the same shape layer as well. You don't want to create two different shape layers. You want to keep this all in the same you know, general uh, shape layer, right? So when this is done, what you want to do is you want to go here to the project window, find your composition called Distort Map. We want to duplicate this layer, open up Distort Map 2, go up to Layer, New, Solid, and we can call it, eh, just call it whatever, it doesn't matter. And what we'll do is we'll put this layer underneath the shape layer, go to the track mat, and set it to alpha inverted mat. Now if we turn on transparency, you'll see that we have solid taking up this part of the composition, and then reverse, you have solids taking up the other side of the composition. So now we'll bring both our distort maps into this timeline, and we'll turn them off here because they do not need to be on. Go ahead and select your image one, go to effect, distort, displacement map. All right, so from here, displacement map layer, go ahead and set this to distort map and you come here to the vertical so this is zero go to the horizontal displacement and you see you can start to offset this and you're going to get that nice offset now we don't need to go crazy with it and there is you know obviously some transparency here in the background which we don't really want that necessarily you can click on wrap pixels around you know that might work for you but you know i'm not necessarily a big fan of this so what i want to do here is duplicate image one by going up to edit duplicate and go to the bottom layer, just turn off the displacement map. We don't need that turned on whatsoever. And we'll come here to image one, and you see it looks like it's just some duplications of it. No one's really going to notice it, right? So you still have this awesome transition here. You can add a keyframe for max horizontal displacement. Move forward to maybe almost a second, set this down to zero. And now you have that offset transition. Now, the reason why we brought in the other distort map is so we can also do the transition on from the other direction. So what we do is we go to our layer image one, go up to effect, distort, and we add another displacement map to it. Make sure you select the distort map two this time. Set the vertical displacement to zero, or it doesn't really matter, depending on what shape you might want to mess with that. And you come here and you set this to the other side. So go ahead and add a keyframe there, and we'll set this down to zero. So now, boom. Now you have this coming across just like this. You can hit U on your keyboard to bring up the keyframes and make all the keyframes easy. Ease keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. So that looks pretty cool. Of course, we can get a little bit more intense with the effect. And of course, you can apply this technique with pretty much any other shape design. So obviously, we did the horizontal lines here. You could do vertical. You can bring in circles or octagons. It doesn't matter what you do. This is the same technique that applies to pretty much any shape that you want with this type of transition. You can get some really cool effects with it. So this is like a temporary in transition because the clip is not starting, you know, off screen like most transitions do. This one's starting on screen, just put a little bit of animation onto your image. So you can also use this effect to fully 
bring on an image. So say we have this image two here, we can use the same exact exact effects here. We can copy copy the displacement maps, of course, and we can paste them onto image two. And all we have to do here is just say, hey, start completely off screen. So you just move it over all the way to the edge. And then you do the same exact thing on the other side. And we can just offset the keyframes here. That plays in and boom, that comes in like that. And if we want to add a little bit extra animation to this, what we can do is go to our displacement map for our image one here, hit S and hold down shift P on your keyboard to bring up scale and position, add a keyframe for both of these parameters, move them forward in time. We can scale this up by a touch, maybe X position over by a little bit. And this will add just a little bit more movement to the entire image. And that's pretty nice, of course, make all the keyframes easy, easy keyframes, F9 on your keyboard. And there you have it. And of course, maybe you want to turn on motion blur as well. I would suggest it. So now you should have something very similar to this with this very nice transitions that you can use for your videos, your promo videos, or whatever animation you're doing inside of After Effects is a great way to just add a little extra, you know, spice to what you're doing. So hopefully you find this technique very useful and are able to apply it to your own work. And for some further inspiration on this transition effect, check out some of the links in the description on the templates that I have linked because they show off some great examples of this transition. So you can find some great inspiration on how to recreate this effect for yourself and new ways to you know go about doing this. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and took away a few great techniques from it. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to always like the video because it lets me know this video was helpful. Subscribe to Sunduck Film for more After Effects videos just like this. Hit me up on my social media networks and always be creative.